The three Americans, Spencer Stone, Alex Scarlatis, and Anthony Sadler, spoke to the media Sunday from the U.S. Embassy in Paris. U.S. Ambassador to France Jane Hartley said the men are heroes in the truest sense of the word. These three brave young Americans, along with the French and British passenger, demonstrated remarkable bravery and acted without regard for their own safety in order to subdue a heavily armed individual who appeared intent on causing mass casualties. U.S. Air Force Airman Stone was hospitalized after being slashed in the neck and hand by the attacker with a box cutter. He described how he awoken from a deep sleep to see the gunman in the aisle of the train. And I turned around and I saw he had a, what looked to be an AK-47 and he looked like it was jammed or it wasn't working and he was trying to charge the weapon and Alec just hit me on the shoulder to say let's go and ran down, tackled him, we hit the ground. Alec came up and uh, grabbed the gun out of his hand while I put him in a chokehold. Scarlatis, Stone, and American student Sadler were joined by Britain Chris Norman in subduing the Moroccan-born gunman, who seriously wounded at least one passenger before he was swarmed. Amateur cell phone video showed the aftermath of the attack. When asked what they had learned from the experience, Sadler said he believes that in times of crisis, it is better to act rather than not. Hiding or sitting back is not going to accomplish anything, and the gunman would have been successful if my friend Spencer had not gotten up. Spanish authorities said they have identified the attacker as 26-year-old Ayub el Kazani, who had spent time in Syria during the past year. He boarded the train in Brussels shortly before the attack Friday. The attack took place as the train sped through Belgium with 554 people on board. After the incident, the train was diverted to northern France. Jeff Custer, VOA News, Washington.